Kirino Grandstand was a teeming sea of devotees wanting to get a glimpse of the Black Nazarene before the annual Traslacion. This is the fifth time for Batangas native Jason Pagayawan to do this panata or devotion. Like thousands of devotees, Jason braved the elements and the hardships to be able to participate in this Catholic tradition in his belief that his fervent prayer would be answered. Jason is praying for the safety of his mother, who is a worker in Saudi Arabia. As the traditional morning prayer came to a close, the carriage carrying the image of the Black Nazarene started leaving the Carina Grandstand stage. The carriage was supported by the so-called Andas Wall, which is composed of police officers, which is one of the changes being implemented by organizers of the Traslacion this year. The wall prevented many devotees from blocking both sides in front of the carriage of the Black Nazarene. The back portion of the andas or carriage carrying the statue was vacated to allow only few devotees to get near the religious image. Barricades were placed on the sides of Ross Boulevard where the procession is taking place to control some of the devotees from approaching the carriage. Police officers also controlled the faithful from escaping the barricade. According to the Department of the Interior and Local Government, more than 13,000 policemen were deployed to ensure the safety of the public during the hours-long procession in the streets of Manila. Consuelo Marquez, Inquirer.net